on this impeller when you have one blade which is done and you need to duplicate it by rotation uh, i'm just going to use here the patterning uh, which is going to be circular pattern the body is going to be that one the rotational axis it's going to be my main axis which is uh, the vector one here and i know because i can display the mesh that i got 16 16 instance and okay when you do that the software duplicates it by rotation and also creates one body each time for each instance now i can go back and do a boolean on that merge select all that apply and then i can continue on that part if you want to display that part and maybe you want to see the part next to the mesh not exactly on the position you can transform the body transform the body can make different things here you can make a rotate rotate and translate scale alignment trying to scan or by matrix usually here i'm just taking the model and put it aside like that and i can see both entities next to each other again this is a parametric model parametric entity which is transform if you want to remove that feature just delete that transform and okay it goes back to its position then if we continue with the the features we can make with a solid body we can use the delete face so delete face next to transform body can delete face a group of faces to simplify your model so if i click on delete face you have delete delete and heal or delete and fill so if i want to make to remove that specific area i can select those faces all around and then add the software to delete that feature it's not really a feature it's faces you can also work like that on uh, imported body so be careful not to select something which is not on the part and then i will select it and add the software if it can work on that so forget about that how do you know it works just click on on delete and heal and if the the models change colors it works here it doesn't change color because i got this a face which is inside now i remove that and you can see it's brown if i press ok this feature didn't exist and it removes everything in design next we can also create uh, features like draft angle so if i click on draft here uh, i can select neutral plane draft parting line draft or step draft um, if i make a parting line draft and i select that face i can tell the software that i want to draft that face in this direction that face and also on the other side and make a five degree draft angle and preview just to check what it does you can see that five degrees draft angle on those four faces and okay to continue with those kind of features usually when you create a part and you want it to be parametric or symmetrical you just build half of it so at the end you will need to mirror the parts so of course as, as i build it in the middle i don't want to have a, a separation here or, or an edge and a, an edge here so i will just ask the software to make a mirror the body is going to be that one the mirror plane is going to be that plane Okay, so if I press like this, and if I press OK, you have an ugly edge here, and you have also two solid bodies over there. So what I'm going to do is edit my mirror and tell the software that I want to trim and merge, and tell the software, well, check the continuity here, and OK. And now you have a nice and smooth transition between the faces.